I'm Anil Kumar and now let us further investigate into the capacity and its units. So we are talking about volume. It was always difficult for me to connect liters with meters and centimeters since they are altogether different units, right? Now the question here is, the tank measures 4 meters by 5 meters by 2 meters. Find capacity of tank in milliliters, liters and meter cube. So we'll find out the capacity of this tank which is 4 meter by 5 meter by 2 meters, right? That really means length, width and height. So the three dimensions of this uh, rectangular prism type of tank is given to us. We need to find its capacity, that is volume, in three different units, milliliters, liters and meter cube. So that is the question for you. I'd like you to pause the video, copy the question, solve and then look into my suggestion, right? So, so, so we need three different units. So the first unit we will work with, uh, we could write this in milliliters and then in liters and also in meter cube, right? So these are the three different calculations to be done. So what I will do here is I'll rewrite this question in in these three columns. So we'll have two meters and the same thing here, right? Of course, each volume is going to be exactly same. The only thing is the units are going to be different. So let's try to solve them one by one. So meter, meter cube looks very logical. Let me start with this. Meter times meter times meter will give me meter cube, right? So let me write this as 4 meter times 5 meter times 2 meter. So 4 times 5 is 20 and 20 times 2 is 40. You can use calculator also. We get 40 and meter times meter times meter is meter cube. So that is the capacity for for this tank in in meter cube, right? So basically capacity means volume, right? So we are trying to find volume for each. And volume, you know, is equals to length times width times height. So with, that is what we are going to do in all three different units, right? So now let us do it for the second one. We want liters, okay? We'll get back to this later. Let's go to milliliters. So when we are doing milliliters, the units are in centimeters, right? One meter is how many centimeters? Well, we know one meter, one meter is 100 centimeters. So we'll convert them to centimeters. So four meters will be 400 centimeter times 500 centimeters times 200 centimeters. So that is what we get. So we are expecting a huge answer here for milliliters, right? Milliliters means centimeter cube. Let me write this as centimeter cube. Okay, fine. So what do we get here? So of course, centimeter, centimeter, centimeter will give us centimeter cube. Now let's see how many zeros we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six zeros here. So let's put three and three, right? So six zeros and the numbers are 4 times 5 is 20, 20 times 2 is 40, so we get 40, right? So 40 million cubic centimeters, 40 million cubic centimeters is our answer, which is same as 40 million milliliters, do you understand? So that is how you get your units for milliliters for the same dimension. Now to find liters, one way of course is we know that uh, 1000 milliliters is equals to 1 liter. So using this conversion factor, what we can do is we can divide by 1000, right? So we get what? We get 40,000. So we should get answer here is 40,000 liters, right? So that should be our answer and that we did from conversion. But in case you want to find it direct, how are you going to find it? So that's a big question, right? So that is the question. So remember one thing, liters means what? It really means decimeter cube. Do you understand? 
liters means decimeter cube. So in this particular case, we should convert the units to decimeters and then find the answer. Okay, so that is the key for solving this particular question. So let me write them in decimeters. Uh, we know one one meter is ten decimeters. So we could write this as forty decimeters times fifty decimeters times twenty decimeters. Correct? One. 1 meter is 10 decimeters, so that is how we get. Let me write down here, 1 meter is 10 decimeters, so that is the conversion factor. So if you multiply these three, you get 1, 2, 3 zeros, right? That is 3 zeros, decimeter cube, correct? 4 times 5 is 20, 20 times 2 is 40. 40,000 decimeter cube, or that is 40,000 liters. Remember, one liter is one decimeter cube. You get exactly the same answer, right? So that helps us to understand all the units which we have gone through in these set of videos. So remember, one, one liter is actually equals to one decimeter cube, right? And one milliliter is equals to one centimeter cube. <coughs> But when we are talking about one meter cube, then what is that related with liters? It is thousand liters, okay? So thousand liters is one meter cube. So these are the units which you should understand by now. And then, uh, you know, review these videos once again to get all these concepts. I hope they help you. I'm Anil Kumar. Subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.